Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly inspiration reading. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I'm running ahead of schedule on those right now as of the recording of this, angelsouls444.com. If you would like to schedule a video reading with me, a live video reading, which has been going very, very well, just email me for availability at angelsouls444 at gmail.com so we can work out our schedules. And if you are seeing this before August 29th, please make sure that you check out my live event that I'm going to be doing uh, on Archangel Uriel, August 29th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Link is in the bio, along with another link for my Substack page. Yes, I'm behind on getting um, my chapters up, but there are just some, you know, YouTube things and reading things that I'm clearing up before uh, I go back and edit those chapters. So keep that in mind. Let's see what we have going on here for everybody. Nope. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is good. Very good news. We have Ace of Earth and we have the Six of Earth. So this first one says the inflow of abundance. So we'll talk about that. A promising business venture, important documents or contracts. And the six of the earth says gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So the two of these, it, it, something is cracking open for you. And especially if you have been struggling with abundance, with finances, with a new career, just trying to make your current career work, something is breaking open. Now, this came out first, so you might be the one putting the energy out there and now you're attracting someone who can help you because this does say gifts of money, so someone giving to you, but this is very balanced. So this isn't like someone necessarily who's going to come along and be like, you know what, I'm just going to pay off all your debt and that's, <laughs> you don't have to give me anything back. Um, this is more okay, well, I can offer this service and now you're getting paid what you deserve. Or I have a, you know, a bigger business idea for myself or something that I'm creating in this world. And here is someone who's going to help me negotiate the best contract or, um, you know, get the best fee, I guess, <laughs> or whatever. So this is actually the one that says documents or contracts, but this is someone helping you uh, figure that out. Okay, so just bear that in mind. And let's see what else we have. Good so far. We like that. <laughs> All right. Strength. Archangel Ariel. So the way this is coming forward, this could be something that might be a bit of a challenge for you. It might be asking you to go beyond your comfort zone, step out of your comfort zone, that sort of thing. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So this is, uh, if I'm going to move on, and have this abundance and this happiness and this sense of being grounded, I have to let go of resentment that it took me this long to get here or resentment that so-and-so set me back and now I'm upset or, you know, whatever it is, really sit with this. Now, a lot of people don't like doing this, so we don't, right? <laughs> really, I'm not looking at that, forget it. Um, but that's, you see this has the number 11 on it, and that is part of your ascension process, is to look at that part of you, yes? And to admit, this is where I could do better. I do tend to have this viewpoint. I do tend to shut down possibilities because I think it's going to be harder than what it should be or, you know, whatever it is. I, I, I just like my comfort zone, and so I want to stay there. So let's see what else we have. There it is. Okay. The four of air. Getting overwhelmed and needing to kind of <laughs> just like everyone, shh, you know, everybody just leave me alone for a second. So time to rest or take a vacation. A lot more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So there's something you really have to think about. It makes me wonder if like some offer doesn't come up, but it requires you to move, like make a big life change kind of thing. 
So, and that might be the thing. It's like, uh, like, but how do I move across the ocean? Or how do I live in another country? Or how do I even live in another state if you're in the United States? Like, how do I do that? Someone is going to be helping you. There's going to be resources and ideas and, um, you know, an offering of experience. That's how I want to put it. There's an offering of experience where someone else has done it. Or there might even be a company that helps people relocate. You know what I'm saying? And so they're going to help take some of that burden. But this is, uh, I have to stop and think about this. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that level of change. So that's exciting. It's exciting, but it might be, you know, you might be a little nervous about it. Now, not everybody obviously is going to be moving, but there's something else to consider here. And it is... There it is. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to drop it. I was holding my breath and everything. But it is this sort of thing of um, there's a new way. There's a new way of living across the board. For anybody who comes across this video, you're being challenged to look at things in a different light and choose a different way. Law of attraction, this is why. You're shutting out everything that's good and it, it's just not going to work anymore. Relationships and activities that once... No, that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. I have this conversation a lot with people when they're like, you know, I started on my spiritual path and now my friends are falling away or now I don't, I, I just don't fit in at work anymore because I just, you know, I don't, whatever. I don't want to be a part of that or whatever they're trying to do. That's, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay. When you find that, can I say, you know, upping your standards if you once tolerated people gossiping and, you know, being nasty or whatever, you know, or not being fair in a friendship or a romantic partnership, if you just always accepted that, now you're in a place where you're, we, we say it's your frequency match. And yeah, that's a way of looking at it. But there's also just growing up and realizing I've been taking what I don't deserve and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to turn this around so that I am honoring myself. Now, as far as the law of attraction goes, this is another thing. If you are around a lot of people who do not want to see you succeed, you will not succeed. Or if you do, it's going to be a, a very hollow victory. It's not going to be what you thought. Why? Energy. So if you're around people who stay small, you may be tempted to stay small. Now, it's not fair to look at them and say, you're the reason why I'm not successful. And it's definitely not fair to look at them and say, you need to do what I'm doing. They're on their soul's contract. They're doing their life. They can be where they are. But if you're soaking that energy up, if you're around people who view you as weak or quiet or, you know, whatever, and then you never stand up for yourself, well, then you're going to stay stuck. So again, it's not about blaming others or not taking accountability for yourself. But there needs to be some understanding of if if I'm around somebody who just takes advantage of me all the time, that's not going to work. We're not doing that anymore, right? Or if I'm just around somebody who can never be happy for me, they have to take little digs. They have to, in one way or another, just put little things out there so that you feel diminished. You might be cutting them out of your life. And that strength card in there does talk about the strength to walk away from whatever it is. If that's what is needed, right? Okay. So let's see what else we got here. You are a powerful light worker. Now, it won't be everybody who's watching this, but it is safe for you to be powerful. That's the message. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. This is tapping into your own inner light and giving time and space and priority to meditation, to your spiritual growth. We tend to overlook that or how many times you do uh, maybe sit down to do a meditation, but you're choosing a meditation that will get you that relationship or get you that job or get you the money or whatever. It's, it's worry based. It's something I feel like I'm missing in my life. So I have to spend my meditation time working on that. And we skip over the peace, the harmony, the beauty, the grace. And yet... That is the place of power within you, right? That is the light that expands. And now without even trying, you have someone come to you and maybe they become a love partner. Without even trying, you get a job offer or several. Or you suddenly come into some money 
you know, that sort of thing. So we have to give ourselves that chance. And I'm guilty of that too. Like I'll be busy, you know, running around doing all the things. And when I meditate, it's to kind of like, okay, I need to calm down. And that is putting this energy out there of I'm overwhelmed. So I'm just meditating to not feel overwhelmed. <laughs> so that's not exactly it. I'm coming into it with that intention. When I feel a little bit calmer, then I go into a deeper meditation and just allow the heart light to come out and to expand. And from there, I almost always see some sort of shift in how people are interacting with me or what ends up happening, something that was really worrying me. It, it finds resolution or something along those lines. So don't forget your point of power. And let me say once again, intention is everything intention is everything if you're just using the law of attraction to get material things okay there's nothing wrong with wanting a house there's nothing wrong with wanting a car and and all of that but if you're wanting those things so that you can be put above others you've missed your lesson as a human being (laughs) so i mean yeah you can get it but it's not you're going to tell yourself that you're happy but That's not it because it's not anchored in anything. And what's more, it could flow right back out because you did not learn your lesson around it. So just keep all this in mind. This is a week where um, some stuff's going to be coming your way. It might be very tempting to let the ego consciousness sort of run away with you and take over. But (laughs) stay grounded and centered in your heart and you'll know what to do. You'll know what action to take and you'll be better at And you'll be able to draw in some very high frequency relationships, opportunities, all of those things that you've been wanting. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.